Cheese pizza may be plain, but it doesn't have to be boring. If you're looking to get a cheesy fix, we have some recommendations for you. It's hard to mess up cheese pizza. The cheese pizza at Little Caesars Pizza isn't bad, especially given its price point, but compared to other pizza chains on the list, we have to rank this one quite low. Yes, the flavor is decent. Yes, the pizza is affordable, but the pizza is also unimpressive. The cheese is okay and the sauce is fine, but it's the pepperoni on Little Caesars Pizza that tends to give it a flavor boost. Without that, you're left with a pizza that definitely isn't horrible, but certainly doesn't stand out. If you want something quick and cheap to nosh on for lunch and dinner, a hot and ready Little Caesars pizza can certainly come in handy. But if you've got a hot date or are really craving something high quality, it might be worth it to check out another pizza parlor to satisfy those taste buds. Sabaro is a company well known for its popularity in mall food courts and even a few standalone locations. This pizza joint doesn't really offer up the highest quality pies, but it does at least sell pizza by the slice for when you just need a quick bite. With that being said, the plain cheese tastes exactly as you would expect. It's a fairly average pie, and considering what you're getting, it's a bit overpriced. This pizza chain offers large New York-style sliced pizzas, but a single slice can cost around $5. Sure, it may be a hefty slice, but the flavor really doesn't justify what you're spending. My favorite New York pizza joint, and I'm gonna go get me a New York slice. Pizza Inn is a restaurant that has seemingly been around for ages. Many people have old, childhood memories attached to this place, and some Redditors are even shocked that the pizza chain still exists. Indeed, Pizza Inn is still kicking, and it does have options for you cheese-loving fans out there. One of the best picks for cheese-only pizza is the chain's Alfredo pizza, though they do have a standard cheese pie as you would expect. How does it taste? Not bad, but not terribly impressive either. Pizza Inn is a buffet-style pizza joint that features dough made in-house. Sure, it's nice to have variety, though that doesn't mean customers are impressed. Reviews on Yelp have ranged from decent to just plain bad, with a few opinions scattered in between. So should you try Pizza Inn's pizza? As long as your expectations aren't too high, you might have a good time. Though considering it's a buffet, you may want to grab something other than plain cheese. If you've got a CeCe's pizza nearby and you've never been, you may have wondered exactly how its cheese pizza tastes. CeCe's is known for budget-friendly and family-friendly buffet-style pizza, very similar to what you might find at Pizza Inn. This chain offers a wide variety of pizza options, along with pasta, salads, desserts, and more. But is CeCe's cheese pizza impressive in any way? Not really. While it isn't necessarily bad, it is a bit bland. The cheese isn't anything special, the marinara isn't robust, and the crust is rather chewy. For such a low price, you could say that CeCe's pizza is a decent deal, especially if you want to feed your family for cheap. But if you're looking for a truly flavorful option, you're better off looking elsewhere. Pizza Hut is one of those quintessential pizza chains that most of us have tried at least a time or two before. It's known for its thick pan crust with good toppings and sauce at an affordable price. When it comes to Pizza Hut's cheese pizza, the flavor isn't bad. However, there are better options out there that give you a bit more bang for your buck. Though cheese pizza is seemingly plain, Pizza Hut layers on plenty of thick, melty mozzarella, with its signature sauce slathered liberally beneath. The only downside? While a nice, thick pizza crust is definitely enjoyable, Pizza Hut's crust can come across as almost a bit too thick, which can be overwhelmingly doughy at times. With that said, we can't give Pizza Hut cheese pizza a full-blown recommendation, though what you get for the price you pay isn't too bad. No, 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 pizza the Hut, it's you. Ma Pizza is known for giving customers amazing topping choices for one single price. While you might not find them on every corner, the chain has restaurants in at least 29 states, making it a fairly well-known pizza franchise that seems to be growing in popularity. So how does the plain cheese pizza fare? This one is a little tricky. Though Mott Pizza has tons of great options for customization, when it comes to the classic bare-naked cheese pie, it's a bit unimpressive. The pizza is reasonably priced, but its paper-thin crust and skimpy cheese portions are a bit unfulfilling, especially when compared to other pizza chain options. The sauce is interesting with a strong hint of tanginess and basil, but overall, the pizza is nothing to write home about. Like so many other contenders on this list, the flavor on this one wasn't bad, but it isn't necessarily something you'd want to eat over and over again. Give it a try if you happen to be around a mod restaurant, but don't expect love at first bite. Blaze Pizza is another make-it-your-way style pizza spot. The concept is fairly similar to Mod Pizza and that you can customize your own pie for one flat price. 
With that said, the Simple Pie on the Blaze menu, which contains only sauce and cheese, is the cheapest priced pizza you'll find there. As far as flavor and texture go, this pizza, like many others that have been mentioned so far, is average. It comes on a very thin crust, just like its mod competitor, and it's just as uninspired. It's nice that the pizzas are fast-fired, but there isn't much else that stands out. You can grab it when you're hungry, and it's light enough that you probably won't walk away feeling gross. But will you be dazzled? Very unlikely. Hungry Howie's is one of those pizza chains where you know you're getting pretty good value for your money. Indeed, this franchise's pizzas tend to be tasty, especially if you're just looking for a quick and satisfying meal. Anybody want an autograph? Autograph? We're here for the stuffed crust pizza! Stuffed crust pizza? Hungry Howie's cheese pizza isn't bad at all. In fact, it's actually pretty decent. The sauce is tasty, thick, and robust. The cheese is good, and there is a wide range of sizes to choose from. Another thing to love is that Hungry Howie's offers multiple crust flavor options, including Cajun, garlic herb, Asiago cheese, sesame, and more. Overall, a cheese pizza from Hungry Howie's may not be the best that's out there, but it certainly remains a solid pick. Marco's Pizza delivers solid eats, no matter what toppings you choose. When it comes specifically to the cheese pizza, the chain makes a decent product, and you will likely feel that your money was well spent. Marco's provides a nice, hefty pizza with a tasty, deeply flavored tomato sauce that complements its delicious cheese blend quite well. According to the website, this three-cheese blend is a signature offering that comes standard on many of the available pizza options. Nevertheless, Marco seems to remain quiet as to what exactly those cheeses are. Either way, this cheese pizza is a tastier option than many of the others out there. And for you cheese lovers out there, it's worth noting that Marco's has a white cheesy pizza that features garlic sauce, three cheeses, feta, a bit of bacon, onion, and diced tomatoes. Whether you want a plain cheese pie or something a little fancier, you simply can't go wrong with Marco's. Jet's Pizza is another great pizza chain for all of you thick crust lovers out there. The substantial, crunchy, and buttery crust is truly an ode to Detroit-style pizza. Take one bite and you will not be disappointed. Though this popular pizza joint is known for its delicious toppings layered upon a crispy, thick, cornered pizza, it does offer a plain cheese version for those who just aren't into all the fancy toppings. This pizza comes with Jet's bold tomato pizza sauce and heaps of stringy, gooey mozzarella. So is it good? Coming from Jet's, you'd better believe it is. You can even customize the crust to be infused with garlic, butter, Cajun, or other flavors. While it is indeed delicious, this cheese pizza with its mouth-watering mozzarella isn't the best of the best, though it's definitely worth the purchase. California Pizza Kitchen gained popularity mainly through the introduction of its deliciously savory barbecue chicken pizza. These days, however, the California Pizza Kitchen garners split opinions from patrons on Reddit, ranging everywhere from terrible to fantastic. On one hand, fans love CPK's interesting topping options, along with its fresh-tasting crust. Others seem to have a problem with the franchise as a whole, citing that the company has gone downhill in recent years. Whatever your opinion may be, when it comes to California Pizza Kitchen's cheese pizza, the consensus is that it's an A+. For those of you who don't have high hopes for this cheese pie, you might just be surprised. The crust is thin, crispy, and fresh. The cheese is piled on thick, and the sauce packs rich flavor. Overall, it's definitely well worth a top spot. If you want a taste of really good thin crust pizza, you ought to sample Donato's. Yes, you can only get this yummy pie in certain states, but the cheese pizza here is good enough that it's worth the extra effort to sample it when and if you can. Donato's prides itself on packing its pizza from edge to edge with toppings, and its cheese pizza is no different. The extra thin crust of this unique tasting pie allows you to sample the various nuances and toppings, especially the cheese. This is important because Donato's Serious Cheese Pizza comes with smoked aged provolone and Romano cheese, with the option of sprinkling your own Parmesan cheese over each slice for a boost of flavor. What's even more special about this cheese pizza is that its cheese is carefully sourced from none other than Wisconsin, the highly esteemed cheese state. This prestigious endorsement adds an extra layer of appeal, elevating the pizza's status and making it all the more coveted among cheese enthusiasts. Donato's Serious Cheese is a major win in terms of flavor. You can taste the cheese in every bite, and the sauce is tasty and robust enough to add a hint of herbal flavor that makes it nearly irresistible. At Domino's, we put pizza over everything. Domino's has stepped up its game in recent years, and honestly, it seems like it's garnering more of a following now than it ever has before. With tasty pizzas, pastas, stuffed cheesy breads, and more, pizza fanatics simply can't get enough of Domino's. With this in mind, the cheese pizza at this beloved chain is definitely worth trying out. Fans of this cheesy pizza pie give it two thumbs up, stating its garlic crust is the perfect accompaniment to the thick and delicious gooey cheese that comes layered on top. 
In fact, you'll be hard-pressed to find anyone saying otherwise about Domino's cheese pizza, suggesting that this is one of the better plain cheese pies you can find at a pizza chain, especially when you consider its price point. Looking for a cheese overload you'll love? There's a reason Papa John's Tuscan 6 Cheese Pizza secured the number one spot on this list. Hot, bubbly, and oh-so-delicious, this over-the-top spin on a classic cheese pizza is exactly what you've been looking for. Fans on Reddit are very impressed by the amount of cheese on this thing. The pizza comes stacked not only with traditional mozzarella, but also Romano, Provolone, Asiago, Fontina, and Parmesan. Because of the amount of cheese it's packing, Papa John's Tuscan 6 cheese has a flavor that is way above the rest. Just be sure to note that this cheese pizza isn't for the faint of heart. If you like your pizza a little lighter on the cheese, this certainly isn't the pie for you. However, if you're a cheese fanatic who just can't get enough, then get excited, because you're about to meet the pizza of your dreams.